Hey guys. Okay, so I'm kind of glad that I even remembered that this happened because I was sitting here kind of wanting to talk. Um, I, I'm just going to jump into it. I was at work the other day and, um, sorry, I've had quite a few people come up to me and I'm very quiet at work. I'm very odd. It's funny to me because I, all I do is like whisper around work, like doing whatever I have to do. I really don't talk to anybody. But, um, a couple new people had come in and there was a guy that I was teaching how to do the fitting room and he was asking me how old, um, people were that worked here and I was like, well, kind of around the same age, whatever. And he was like, well, how old are you? I was like 24 and literally his mouth just like dropped open. He's like, no, he's like, he's like, you are not. He's like, you're still in high school. First of all, thanks. And I've already, you know, I think I said that story before, but, um, I was at work the other day and again, this kid was talking to me. And randomly, he just goes, Katie, how old are you? And I was like, 24. He's like, what? He's like, oh, I thought you were a senior in high school. I'm like, no. Again, I'm like, thank you. But the only th thing that, that makes me laugh is when people say that because I don't know how old I really look. But whenever people are like, oh, I thought you were 17, I just go back to like when I actually was 17. It just seems like so long ago. So it just, it, it's so weird that people even say that. I know we kind of got to talking and uh, I was like I swear we've gone to school together but we hadn't he was like 26 and we went to different high schools and um he had asked me because there's two major high schools in my city and it pretty much I keep getting these spit lined and I'm sorry I don't know if it's my lip gloss or what it is um but yeah so he was like well how long did you go to that school for and I said well a year and a half and I was like and then I went to an alternative school and it was funny because he just goes yeah you kind of seem like you would go somewhere like that and I kind of just laughed and walked away because I'm just such a such an awkward awkward person in real life, but it, it just made me laugh. And I was like, I don't think I've ever actually shared you guys shared with you guys. I know I've made videos way years ago on, um, I've said I've went to an alternative school, but I know a lot of people are newer here. So I kind of just wanted to be like, why I had to go to an or why I chose to go to an alternative school. And I can't even say the word alternative, but a lot of people would call it safe school. Um, and basically the reason that I wanted to go, I basically just quit going to high school. Um, I loved school. I say that all the time. I absolutely loved it up until high school. And I don't know what it was. Um, I mean, it was a bad summer. I mean, it was a good summer. That's whenever me and Tyler got together. But once everything with him just got fucked up with the cheating, it just really totally fucked up my psyche bad. Uh, my skin got really, really bad. I had dermatitis. Basically, um, it's just your skin gets like red and raw. It wasn't so much breakouts, but it was just like, it was, it just looked absolutely horrible. And God forbid, you know, you're going into high school, your freshman year, you don't even want to be five pounds overweight, let alone have body issues. I had really bad acne. I was going through being cheated all the time. You know, you just turned 15. So it was just a lot to deal with. Um, I went through the first year, but in a year of school, I probably altogether missed about three or four months. Um, the crazy part is, though, it never affected my grades. I had passing grades in all my classes, A's and B's, except for biology, because I fucking hated my teacher. But I really never had an issue learning. I just hated being physically at school. People were not the nicest. I can't say that I really got bullied, but people were just not nice. You know, you could just, it was the vibes. Um, people would say stuff about my face, but for me, one person saying it, 10 people might as well have just came up to me and kicked me in the nuts because I just felt like a piece of shit. <laughs> I just wanted to cry all the time. Um, so I pretty much, I didn't get caught all the time, but it just caught up with me. So I was in the principal's office and the more that you get caught skipping school, they just suspend you. So my mom would get pissed. She's like, so you're going to suspend her for two weeks for not coming to school, you know? So she got all weird about that. Well, then my other friend who went to a different high school, we had been friends in junior high, she was telling me about this alternative school that she started to go to and she loved it and um, both of our moms talked about it. We took a tour of the school. Now at the time, God, I have a piece of hair, sorry. Tyler also was in an alternative school, but he was like in a way worse one for kids that literally like are really bad, like they bring like guns and all this shit to school. So my mom talked to the principal of that school and I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to that school because um, a girl that Tyler cheated on me with also went to that school. I'm like, so you're out of your mind if you think that that's going to like help my problems in any way. Um, so I did end up going to the different safe school with my best friend at the time. Um, I went there a few months after she started and it honestly was awesome. And it was a new program they just started that year. So that school was mostly just for safe school kids, which is kids that are physically violent all the time, bring knives to school. I won't say guns, but um, knives to school that are just like 
verbally horrible or we get into fights all the time, got obviously um, expelled from their school. And then for me, there was a truancy program. So there was literally a whole six people in this truancy program because it was so new. We were upstairs in the school. Downstairs was for the, you know, bad kids, I guess you'd say. Um, and it was really cool. It seemed literally like a vacation every single day. So you go into school and you have to go through a metal detector, which is why I talk about, um, my friends used to always like give me their phones and I'd have to wear like a bra like those three times my size because we'd put them in our bras because they can wand you, but they can't really, if it's over a private part, they're not going to like dig through your underwear or your bras is too much. Um, you know, so there was never any issue with that, but so we'd walk in, we'd go into the gym, we'd wait until the bell rang, same situation, and then we'd go to our classrooms, and we would always go upstairs, and pretty much it's just a big open classroom, there was a TV in the corner, um, it did look very run down, I mean, it was an old Catholic school, um, and every day, basically, you don't have, you have a teacher in the classroom, but you just grab whatever subject you want to do first. So you have a pamphlet, and you go grab your book that matches your pamphlet. It's the exact same book that we had in high school. The exact same assignments, it's pretty much you just don't have a teacher teaching the class. If you have a question, you can go ask them, but you pretty much work individually. And it was nice too because if you really needed help, there was so such a less crowded school, you can get the attention that you would need if you needed help. So it's it's pretty cool, honestly. It's kind of bullshit that you get more attentive teaching at this school than you do at a normal high school, but um it was like we had a whole snack drawer upstairs. We'd go to the gas station before school and get Monsters, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, soda. Uh, we'd eat our lunch upstairs sometimes because the teachers knew that we were going to get into shit. So we would sit upstairs. Our schoolwork would always be done by 1 o'clock. I mean, even if it wasn't, the teacher would turn on the TV for us. We used to watch Ellen every day in our classroom. Um, it was the fucking shit. Um, there was a lot of bullying going on. There was a group of girls downstairs that hated um us upstairs so that's kind of a whole nother story though um but they were a bunch of bitches like during recess or our time in the gym which was like you know 30 minutes out of the day they used to literally like walk around just like throw basketballs at our face and try to like get get into fights with us and stuff like that it was crazy we were with a group of boys upstairs it was three girls me and my two friends and then three boys um and we got into a lot of fights like a lot and it was kind of like a weird brotherly sister fights but it got pretty bad pretty bad there was um some uh words thrown but I went to go back to the school my sophomore year and I think for me that was like a pivotal depression point in my life I don't really know everything just really spiraled um I it was cool for the first couple of weeks and then I don't really don't know what happened um my one best friend didn't come back uh because she had gotten into a fight with a guidance counselor the, the previous year like right at the end of the year and then it was my turn to get into a fight with her basically so I was just depressed I didn't really know what, how to turn like my mom was leaving for Texas I was uh, 17 it was just I think she, my mom had left that year because I was 17 yet because this is the fight that that we had gotten into um and I, I pretty much stopped going to school and now these teachers at this school will go to your house and like bang on your door leave notes on your door if you're not showing up for school and if you don't call in if you're not sick you know whatever so I kind of just blew up and I don't even remember the situation. I guess I had gone home sick one day and I truly was. I felt like shit. I don't know what was wrong with me. And my best friend asked me, hey, can you and your dad come pick me up after school? I don't have a ride. So my dad picked me up whenever I left after lunch. I was sick and we had to go to the grocery store or something. So me and my dad went to the grocery store. By the time we were done, there was only a couple hours left of school. We came back and picked up my friend. Well, the guidance counselor saw that I went back with my dad to pick up my friend. So apparently I, it was a big uproar the, uproar the next day. Um, she called me into her office. I'm so sorry if this is all over the place. She called me into her office and she was like, you apparently weren't sick enough to come pick up your friend from school. And I was like, what business is that of yours? You know, like what she didn't want to walk home. So I, I had my dad pick her up. Like, what does that have to do with anything? And I've never been confrontational with the teacher. I literally was like teacher's pet my whole life. I've gotten like literal awards from like being the teacher's favorite because I'm just a quiet bitch that is like a suck up. I'm um, not really a suck up. I just shut up and do my work. But basically she was saying like, you're never going to amount to anything, you know, if you don't come to school, whatever. And it just like got me I can't do confrontation. So whenever it happens, my heart started pounding and I was so pissed. And she's like, what are your parents thinking? What is your mother? And I was like, my mom just moved to Texas. And she was like, well, if I was your mother, I would have moved to you. I would have done anything to get away from you. 
and I literally just like couldn't even so this is a guidance counselor old ass lady that is saying this to me like she is supposed to help us and she literally just told me that if I was your mother I would have loved you so I'm beat right at this point and I was just like fuck you you stupid bitch and I just got up and I left and I just walked out of the school and it was really heartbreaking because I like I loved so many of those teachers um I've talked about whenever I got into like the whole serial killer thing this my English teacher was amazing and she just let me be so creative and write and they were really nice the teachers were awesome except for this one huge fucking cunt like it just blew my mind it, it's it makes my chest kind of hurt now even thinking that I said that to like a teacher because I, I'm not that type of person but that's why I went to an alternative school. I've done stories before of like sex in school. These people, these kids got caught having sex in the bathroom, um, smoking in school. I mean, there was a lot of funny stories that came from that, but it was a, I got drunk once and went to school. Don't do that. I was just like, you know, whatever, stupid kid shit, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you guys want more story times from that, I know I have some in the past, but they're just kind of crappy. Most of my older videos are crappy, but I just want to sit here and talk to you guys, and it just kind of reminded me of that. But um, yeah, so I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.